Hey guys, Dan here, and welcome back to Roblox, where today we are continuing our Pokemon Brick Bronze adventure. So, let's get straight into this. We have one single badge, because last time I really, really wanted a badge, but instead, we ran into Groudon. I mean, what? And this was the very cave that it happened in. Groudon was right here. He started making cracks in the floor. It was intense, so today, my goal is to get our second gym badge. Let's do this. Press start. So I'm not actually sure where we need to go from here. Can we go over here? I think we can, but I hope we don't run into too many Pokemon. Let's have a look at our team real quick. As they were left last time, they were left in a pretty bad way. Oh my goodness, Steve, you need to go up front. Steve the War Turtle, Glenda the Ghastly, Elvis the Shiny, Eevee, Timmy the Little Togepi, bless him, uh, Quince the Quilava, and Barry version 2 the Sentret. So, um, let me get out of here and then hopefully we can make our way to the second gym and then onwards to becoming the Pokemon champion. Whoa, check it out. A heap more. That's actually pretty awesome. That's really cool. So, a little known fact, if you know about the Pokemon Durant, Heatmore actually eats the insides of Durant, which is crazy. Now, I am just gonna use Steve's bubble attack because it's super effective and should take him out because, oh, okay, maybe not. I was gonna say because he was a level 10, but you know what? Heatmore had other things planned. Um, it looks like you only did about two damage to us as well. So we're going to finish off this heat more, grab some more experience. I'm still not out of this cave yet. <laughs> There's the light. The light is here. Please don't let me encounter another Pokemon. <laughs> we did it. We made it out just about alive in this amazing volcano. It was a pretty cool environment to be in to not only take down the first part of Team is it Team Eclipse? I have a feeling it's Team Eclipse, but also experience our first legendary Pokemon. Now, I'm not actually sure which way I need to go now. I'm pretty sure... Ah! Always with the wild Pokemon. That's a Rhyhorn, though. That's a decent Pokemon. You know what? I'm going to give this a go at capturing it. Now, Steve has leveled up to level 20. He also learned a new move called Rapid Spin, which is quite good for getting rid of Stealth Rocks and stuff like that. But I want to take down this Rhyhorn. Will a bubble kill it? I shouldn't have used a bubble. I shouldn't have used a bubble. It's dead. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Whoops. So I desperately need to make use of the Pokemon Center. And, oh, I wonder if this is open now because they had some issues with the Team Eclipse members. I'm going to call them Team Eclipse for now just because I, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, They had some troubles, so they closed the gym. So hopefully we should be able to take that on now. So let's rest our Pokemon, check if there's anything to buy. And then um, I want to check my PC too because I'm not sure what Pokemon I've got in there. From my own, I've got Pidgey, Metapod, Fampy, and Nidoran. I think that's... That's Nidoran female. I'm pretty happy with my team. I think the one that I could replace is maybe Togepi just because it's not great. I mean, when it becomes a Toga Kiss, it's pretty awesome, but you need a shiny stone for that. It's still got quite a few levels to go, so I don't want to do that just yet. I want to take on this gym. Now, I'm guessing it's going to be a fire type gym, so Steve should be pretty good. Elvis might be pretty good as well, and we also need to keep in mind which EV evolution we would like Elvis to evolve into. Now, can you move out the way, please, sir? Sorry, you can't go through now. The gate is under construction. Okay, so he's not going to let me in there. Does that mean I can get up here yet? Oh, that's the gym. I thought the gym was up here. What am I talking about? <laughs> the gym is here. Check it out. So we're going to go inside because there was a guy blocking the entrance before. And let's see what is inside. We've got a, um, a very standard looking Roblox man. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> I like the part where you uh, jump, jump over things. Okay, let's um, let's try that. Oh, we can jump now. We haven't got jump enabled when we're in the overworld, but um, you know what? This is cool. We've got a little bit of an obby to go through. How are you doing, buddy? In this gym, you're going to want to avoid touching the lava. It won't actually hurt you, but it will send you all the way back here. Don't worry, though. You ought to be able to jump pretty high in here. Jump over things, climb things, and jump over more things. Sounds good to me, buddy. Here we go. Let's do this. This should be pretty simple. And we got some new trainers as well. Check out that hair slash hat. I'm not sure if it's um, a hair or a hat, but you know what? Either way, it's looking pretty awesome. I think that's hair. And pretty awesome hair at that. And in comes the Slugma. So this is a mono fire type gym, which is awesome because Steve is just going to run straight through them. That is a level 16 Slugma though. So you know what? I was going to say it could survive, but no, no, it can't. <laughs> Steve has plowed straight through him. He's got another Slugma ready to go. Is there anyone else you want to kind of train up a little bit? 
I'm going to say Elvis. Elvis might be quite handy here. But of course, we're going to switch him straight out of here. And then let Steve do the hard work. Because Elvis is strong, but not strong enough to take down this Slugma. Oh, jeez. Rock throw. Oh, Steve avoided it like a pro. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Bubble this guy out of here, please. You've already done it once. Can you do it again? He certainly can. Steve is so aggressive. <laughs> In comes the bubble. And down goes the third Slugma in a row. That should be enough to defeat you, right, buddy? We should get plenty of money from this as well. Kind of wish you would give me your hair instead. That's pretty cool. Look, 768 pocket dollars. That's pretty good. Right, on to the next person. This music is intense. So intense. <laughs> jump, jump, and climb. Let's do this. That's cool. That's really cool. We've got like a parkour course inside a Pokemon gym. It's nice and easy though. We've had plenty of practice in the obbies. And another guy with insane hair. He's like got the exact same hair as the guy down there, but in opposite colors. That's nice. Charmeleon. That's a cool Pokemon and is definitely going to be able to survive a bubble, I would have thought. I wonder what the gym leader is going to have. Dragon Rage as well. That does 40 damage. That just does a base of 40 damage. Okay, um, we have sipped from the Saws Bug Coffee, so are we going to be faster, or are we going to get destroyed by this Charmeleon? I'm gonna risk it. It's its only Pokemon. Here we go. Yes, Steve! Steve, you champion! Oh my goodness, I swear I've said that so many times over this Let's Play so far. Steve sipping on his coffee, outspeeding the Charmeleon, and yes... I did beat you pretty quickly. Now, do we have anything to heal our poor little Steve's? Let's go to medicine. We have one potion. You know what? That'll do for now. Can you um, can you just use it, please? Here we go. Steve, enjoy it. Restored by 20 points. That's not too bad. We need to look out for those dragon breaths. Those could be um pretty crazy. Dragon breath is one of those moves that isn't good when you get to the later stages of the game, but it's really good when you are at the beginning because it does 40 damage straight away, knocks out a lot of stuff in at least two hits, maybe even one. Right. Which Pokemon you got, buddy? He's got himself a Ponyta. It's a very small Ponyta. I thought it'd be a bit bigger. But my War Turtle... Nope, sorry. My Steve is going to take you out. <laughs> Flame Wheel. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not very effective at all. They didn't burn me. And Ponyta is out of here. Litlio's up next. And it's the final Pokemon from this guy. Oh, Work Up is so good. The attack and special attack rise pretty high. Come on. Get him in one. Get him in one. Almost. Almost. I think we can survive any kind of attack from this guy. So, please. Use headbutt, though. Oh, that was powerful. At least we didn't flinch. We did it, War Turtle. Steve. Steve. I keep calling you War Turtle. Your name is Steve. And there you go. Well, all right, then. You win. I certainly will. Now, we might need to visit the Pokemon Center real quick. But let me see if there's one more guy here. Or are we straight onto the gym leader? Because I might need to die here. <laughs> Just to get myself back to the Pokemon Center. But no, there's one more guy and then the gym leader. So... I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take this guy out, then go back to the center, and then revisit this gym. This is going to be awesome. Here we go. Let's do this. Mo, what an amazing, what an amazing name. That is awesome. Look at that tall coal as well. That plume of smoke looks like candy floss. It really does. Right, this guy is, I think, pretty powerful. So let's use Bubble and try and get him out of here. We really need a better water move like Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is so much better. Oh, yes, we survived it. Oh, my goodness. That is such a weak move. Get out of here. <laughs> so that's the move that um that's the move that Steve just learned recently. And he's up to level 22 as well. Steve! It's just going way too far. Steve is king of Pokemon right now. Right. On to the gym leader, but first, the Pokemon Center. What actually happens if we die? Oh! We do fall apart. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. Can I do that again? Just because it looked awesome. Watch this. Teleportation. That's so cool. Here we go, guys, over the final rock, and here is the guy who's got his badge in lava, which is crazy, and he's got a pretty cool hat on, so hello again. As you know, I am Sebastian, the leader of Brimba City Gym. I'm grateful for your assistance earlier with Groudon. Oh, yeah, completely forgot about that. I was too focused on taking down this gym. I think everyone in town is. Now, show me the power of your Pokemon with pleasure. Oh, this is new. That's awesome. So there has been an update to this game where they've added a new route and some Halloween stuff, which is pretty cool because it's October. But um, we've got a... Oh my goodness, that is a powerful Litleo. How many Pokemon he's got? He's got three. Okay, we're definitely going to need to sip on that Swordsburg coffee, please, Steve, okay? And then you can take this guy out as quickly as possible. Oh my goodness, overheat is such a powerful move. It did like... It did 11... No, 20... I don't even know. 21 damage. That's pretty good for a move that's not super effective. I should have bought some items. 
I should have bought some items because if I get burnt, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> yes! Yes! And with the critical hit, did he not die? Oh my goodness, I thought he would have died. I really thought he would have died. Now, I'm going to use a bubble just in case he uses some kind of medicine. Nope, he didn't. Okay, I don't know if the gym leaders do that. They do do that in the game, but in the in the real Pokemon games. But I don't know if they're going to. Right, Growlithe is up next. I'm going to switch, actually. I'm going to switch into... I'm going to switch into Glenda and give her a little bit of a run to see if we can just chip down the HP a little bit more so that Steve can come in with his bubbles and blow them away. Intimidate. Ooh, that's nasty. Right, let's go for, um, let's put a big old lick on this Growlithe's face. And yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that was pretty good. Not going to lie, Growlithe. That was pretty good. Um, wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, let's go for a... Let's go for a... I don't know which one's better. Quick attack or tackle. Let's go quick attack so we definitely get some damage in before Growlithe attacks us. That's not too bad. Overheat. Avoided. Perfect. So it looks like overheat is the theme of this guy. And he might... That usually means when they use a move over and over again, the gym leaders. That usually means that they give you it in a TM afterwards. So let's see how good Quince can hold out here. He's doing overheat, which is doing... Whoa! A lot of damage with a critical hit. My goodness, that was that was insane. That, that was pretty insane. We're doing pretty good with our quick attacks, though. Keep it going. Keep it going, Quince. Come on, Quince. No, he died. Okay, who can I use to finish this Growlithe off? I don't know who the last Pokemon is going to be. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Elvis, actually, because he has quick attack. So you might be able to survive an attack, Elvis. Just um, put your brave face on. Do you remember the brave face? Do you remember? I'm going to use quick attack because it means that I can attack first. Come on. Yes! That was so powerful, Elvis! Where did that come from, dude? Where did that come from? Right, Magma. I am definitely not going to switch right now. I'm going to get Elvis to do some damage to Magma. It's level 25. That is pretty intense. Right, um, let's use Quick Attack. And if we survive um, its attack, we're going to use some Sand Attacks too. That was awful! Oh no. Oh no. Yep, Elvis died. <laughs> Elvis died nicely. And you know what? We're actually in big trouble here because Steve is three levels lower and probably not that quick. Oh, no. Faint attack. Whoa, that did too much damage. Come on. Come on, Steve. Steve in with a critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. This could be good. That could be an actual clutch critical hit. Come on. Come on, survive it. Survive it. No! Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Barry! Do this for me, Barry, please. I am... Um, I'm in big trouble. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's use... Let's use cut. You're not gonna survive, are you, Flame Burst? No. You're dead. Barry is dead. Do you know who it's down to? <laughs> it's down to Timmy. I can't believe I'm going to lose. I thought I was so prepared for this. You are gonna use... He could use Yawn, but I don't think he's gonna survive one. Let's use Metronome. Come on. Come on, he's using overheat. He's going to cook the egg. And he's dead. No, this magma's too good. Oh, what's happened? Oh, no, 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 no. I had to pay him 300 poker dollars as well. Scurried to a Pokemon Center. Oh, no. I feel so bad. Okay, sir. I definitely need to purchase some of your medicines, please. Let's buy... Um, what do we have? Super potions. I'm going to buy... How many? Oh my goodness, they're really, really expensive. Let's buy... Let's buy five. I think five could be okay. Let's buy five of those for now. And then we've still got 6,000 left. You know what? Let's see how five go. And and then... I, th I think five will be fine. Right. Rematch. Hello? Who are you? Dan, let's battle plus... No, you look scary. I'm out of here. What's wrong with your octopus arms? I'm out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. Huh? I can clear two at once. Look at that. He's even running up. He doesn't even need to use his hands. This guy's, uh, this guy's crazy. Okay. Uh, whoops. I kind of died. All right. Quick little save game. And I would like a rematch, please, buddy. I don't want to hear your voice. I just want to hear you crying after I beat you. Let's do this, Sebastian. <laughs> no. That is mean. What is going on? <laughs> I am so glad I just saved it. That could have been awful. My goodness, it like crashed just after I saved it. Is that going to be okay? Guys, we're all good. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. You just did so much damage to me, Lilio. That's really, really mean. Please don't use another one of those. If, if he uses another takedown, I'm in big trouble. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. Yes. Steve can take it like a boss. There we go. And Litleo is down. Right, I'm definitely going to have to switch because I need to use my super potions already. 
That Litleo is strong right arm. Yeah, let's switch Pokemon real quick. Let's go into Quince. And hopefully Quince can hold his own because he hasn't got very many attacks that aren't fire. But I think he'll do okay. Bag. Super Potion used on Steve. There we go. Perfect. And what attack is Growlithe going to use? Something like Tail Whip? Nope. He's going to use Flame Wheel. Perfect. Look at that. That's amazing. Right then. Let's use Tackle and see if it's a little bit more powerful. It's not bad. It's not bad. But I think the Quick Attack is going to be better. Especially because I get to attack first. Does it work? It's about the same. But I get to attack first. That's not too bad. Overheat though. The overheat is so strong. Okay, hopefully this is enough health on the Growlithe to be able to launch off a big strong Steve bubble attack and take him out in one shot. If it does, we're in good stead to take down this magma. Look at this, ready? The power. The power of Steve. Oh man, after losing. I can't believe we lost. So embarrassing. Steve's up to level 23. And Magma, you know what? I'm not going to switch out. I'm just going to... I'm going to hit you with bubbles to the face. Let's see. Come on, Steve. You, come on, Steve. You can do this, buddy. Look at that. The faint attack didn't even do that much. Mind you, bubble didn't do much either. But we still have four super potions ready to go. Overheat. Oh, my goodness. That's powerful. So powerful. We're going to have to switch Steve out now. Oh, that's good. Okay. I feel better now. Okay, I'm going to go into Glenda real quick. I might try and do a cheeky hypnosis real quick. Just to see if it's going to... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, man. <laughs> I've sacked off Glenda. I'm sorry, Glenda. Right, I'm Barry version 2. You're going to have to stay out there while I heal up my other Pokemon. And then we should be good as long as they don't use two overheats in a row. Well, that would be bad. Sorry, Barry. Sorry, Barry version 2. I'm so, so sorry. Right, Steve, get in there, buddy. The dream, a critical hit bubble. Come on. Come on. How did that do, like, three damage? Oh, because it's going down so much. We've got this, guys. Look at this. Bubble, his overheats are doing so little damage. We've got a speed boost as well. Can we move first? No, we can't. But faint attack's coming in and does quite a bit of damage with a critical hit. He's got, like, four critical hits this battle. But Steve is coming in, king of our team right now, and has taken him out. Yes, good work. You really do have quite the potential. Four grand. That's about as much as we spent on the super potions. Perfect. And we still got three of them left, which is perfect. I wasn't wrong when I said the Groudon saw something in you. I am proud to present you with Brimba City's gym badge. Thanks, buddy. That actually looks pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. I obtained the Brimstone badge. Looking good. Looking good. That's our second badge. Now, I think currently you can pay up to um, uh, four badges. So we're about halfway through, which is perfect. It's the least I can do to give you this TM as well. Is it overheat? Is it overheat? It is. I'm going to teach that to Quince. <laughs> it's extremely powerful. However, it is harsh. Yeah, it harshly reduces your Pokemon special attack use. That's kind of annoying. But you know what? I'm going to teach it to him anyway. Let's get out of here in style. Boom. <laughs> Hello? Oh. I thought it froze. I actually thought it froze. Okay, let's get out of here. I should probably save it too. Let's save it right now just in case any more story kicks in. We did it, guys. Gym badge number two. Oh, that's awesome. Now, where do we go? I'm guessing we can go through this passageway now. We certainly can. Okay, right. Um, We've got just about enough time to be able to take on this route. Let's see what kind of Pokemon are here. Because I feel like I need to replace some of them. Because Togepi is useless. Barry version 2 is not completely useless. He is in battle. But he's got his HMs ready to go. Right. Um, who have we got here? We've got some trainers. got some wild grass. Looks like we're in a forest. I didn't actually catch the name of this route. But you know what? Let's try out a battle, shall we? We actually need to give some other Pokemon a chance. Because Steve. Steve is way too good. <laughs> way too good. Right then, Brayden. Which Pokemon have you got, buddy? You've got a Marrow. That's a cool Pokemon. Shiny Marrow is amazing. Shiny Marrow is um, <laughs> it's gold, which is awesome. And now I don't really know what to do because I don't really have that many great typings. I need a lightning type, definitely. Rest in peace, Pikachu. Rest in peace. Oh my goodness, he's using Rollout as well. I'm pretty sure, actually, Marrow might be green. I think it's Azumarill that is gold. Az Azumarill is definitely gold. Right, um, let's go for a Swift that never misses and take him out. Okay, that's pretty powerful. That was a critical hit. Oh, no, I'm in big trouble. Elvis is in big trouble, too, because this Marrow has got a big old rollout coming through. Um, I definitely need a lightning type. Quickly. Maybe that means we need to evolve into a Jolteon, but the only way you can do that is by getting a Thunderstone, which we definitely do not have. My goodness. Okay, take him out, please. 
Take him out, please. I don't want to get hit by another rollout. Yes! <laughs> Level 16. I'm so proud of you, buddy. And Steve is at 24. I'm proud of you even more. He wants to learn Protect. Okay. He already knows four moves. Um, what can we use instead of, um, instead of Protect? I don't think I want any other ones. I don't think I want Protect. No, I'm not going to learn it. We're going to Ratata up next. Let's not switch. Let's just let Elvis do some more chip damage. Let him faint because I am so, so mean. And then take out the Ratata with something else. Hyper Fang. That doesn't actually kill, does it? I'm pretty sure that just halves the amount of HP that you've got left. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm not 100% sure. Look at that. Hyper Fang. And I'm dead. <laughs> Hyper Fang is a pretty good move. I would send in Glenda at this point. But you know what? Glenda doesn't have any moves that can hit normal types. So we need a move like that. Let's use Ember and take out this Ratata, shall we? I don't know how many more Pokemon he's got. I haven't been paying attention to the Pokeballs. And I really want to find out what kind of Pokemon are living in this route. He's going to send out Anita Arena. Okay, that's cool. That should add it to our, our scene bit in our Pokedex. Ember coming in. Oh, no. Poison Sting. No! Do the Poison Stings work every single time? Do they have to do that? Oh, that's so upsetting, right? Come on. Unleash the Embers on this guy because it poisons you. There we go. Critical hit revenge. That's what I'm talking about. I've got double kick coming in as well. Getting hit by two Hammy Need Arena feet in the face. I'm poisoned. I'm going to have to visit the Pokemon Center again really, really quickly. But first, we must find out what wild Pokemon are here. Get out of here, Need Arena. So upsetting. 1,000 Poke Dollars. That's what I'm talking about. That's nice. Right. What kind of Pokemon we got here? We've got an item through here as well. What is this? This is a Quick Ball. Okay. We haven't had one of those before. Right. Let's see the Pokemon available here, shall we? We've got a Surskit. That's a pretty random Pokemon, not gonna lie. Um, let's run from this guy and try and find another one. It looks like there's some kind of sand down here. We need to go across a bridge. I don't want to fight that trainer, though. I just want to see what... Oh! I said I didn't want to fight you. No, how did you see me from there? A bud you. Okay, so we need to change to, um, oh, no quince. Quince is poisoned. But, um, you know what? If most of these are going to be grass types, we should be okay. It's water types I definitely, definitely struggle with. Are you changing my ability to insomnia? Does that mean I can't sleep? I'm pretty sure it means I can't sleep. Right, let's take you out with a big old ember, shall we, bud you? You're going to burn to a crisp into a pile of ashes. Okay, maybe not. I thought that would have been a one-shot KO. But maybe because I'm poisoned, because that affects all your EVs and stuff. Right. Here we go. Let's fight. Let's ember. Let's burn this budgie to the ground before we get poisoned to death and see what Pokemon's next. Level 20. That's what I'm talking about, Quince. Flame Wheel, finally a better move. So Flame Wheel can increase your speed as well. So what should we forget? Smoke screen. Get out of here. Yes. Come on, learn Flame Wheel. Perfect. Right, let's try that out, shall we? Beauty Fly. Let's not switch. How many Pokemon has she got? Just this one. Let's use Flame Wheel and see what happens, shall we? Come on. Burn it. Whoa! That was powerful. So powerful. Use Morning Sun to replenish health. Okay, we should be able to take that out still. If we don't die... How did... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we just gained one HP from Poison. Quince, you're a magician. An absolute magician. I don't even know how that happened. That's incredible. Right. Flame wheel is beautiful out of here. Quince, that was that was amazing. <laughs> good job, buddy. 700 experience as well. That's pretty good. And that is um and that is that. Nice hat. But I, I beat you. Thank you for the money, too. That's incredible. Jeez. Right, here we go. What's this Pokemon gonna be? A Bidoof! An actual Bidoof. Um, okay, I kind of like Bidoof. I'm not gonna lie. Do we want Sentret or Barry version 2? Or should we catch this Bidoof and call it Barry version 3? You know what? If it survives a tackle, I will um, try and I will try and capture it. Here we go. Has it survived? Did it survive? He passed the test! Oh my goodness, Barry version 3. Welcome, buddy. Let's use a Pokeball and capture this sucker if it goes in the ball. Barry version 3 has, has, has been born. That's one, that's two, that's three. But ba boom Bidoof has been caught. We've got a brand new slave, guys. A brand new HM slave. Bidoof. Yes, of course I will. Barry V3. Welcome to the team. Well, I've got to go back to the Pokemon Center to put you on the team. But check that out. <laughs> Barry, you legend. And Barry has arrived again. I wonder if there's any lightning types around here. I'm just going to search for a little bit. See what new Pokemon are around. And see if I can capture anything cool. Poliwag. That's cool. We have a good water type already, though, so I kind of don't need that. I need some other types because um, Togepi definitely is not cutting it right now. That's cool, though. Yanma. 
Yanma's a cool Pokemon. You know what? I'm gonna capture you. I am definitely gonna capture you, but um, how? <laughs> Let's use Bite and see if this- Oh, that might, that might kill, that might kill, that might kill. It didn't kill. Okay. I think I'm gonna use- Should I use a Pokeball or should I use a Great Ball? Let's risk it. Let's try a Pokeball real quick and bring in Yanma. I need to think of a name for it if I've captured it. That's one. That's one. Okay, definitely a great ball. <laughs> great ball. Here we go. Please go in because I can't attack you again unless I switch to a different... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I, I have a feeling Yanma has a really low catch rate, which means that um it's harder to catch in general. Oh, that's annoying. Right, I might need to go into Pokemon. Glenda. Glenda is perfect. Send it to sleep. It is using double team a lot though. And it's got really high speed. It gets a speed boost every time. Hypnosis, go and hit it. Another double team. We're never going to be able to hit Hypnosis. It, oh, it worked. It actually worked. Okay, I'm going to use a Great Ball. Still getting the speed boost. That is insane. What a great ability to have. Let's Great Ball this puppy. I really want it now because it can learn grass moves and stuff. Come on. Stay in the ball. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, I thought that was going to be really, really annoying. But we put it to sleep. We caught it. Now I need to think of a name with a Y. That's, it's a male. I'm going to go for Yugi. I mean, why not? Let's channel our inner Yu-Gi-Oh! and call it Yugi. Why not? I think that's a cool name. Yugi the Anma, welcome to the party. Right, let's go and sort out our team, shall we? Hello, PC. I need to use your services. Right, um, I'm sorry, Barry version 2. Thank you so much for your help. But Barry version 3 is here. And um, I can't even remember what I called this guy. Oh, no. Oh, no, close. Oh, jeez, what have I done? <laughs> it's just called Togepi now. I will never know. I will never know. But I'm going to put you back in here. Oh, it's Timmy. Timmy the Togepi and Yanma. Yugi the Yanma is now here. Now, there's one more thing we need to do before we end. And that is um, going to our bag. I don't need to teach Overheat anymore, which is pretty good. And I need to teach Cut to Barry version 3. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. So now we have a closer look at our team. Let's have a quick look here. We've got Steve. The almighty powerful war turtle. We've got Glenda. We've got Elvis. We've got Quince. Barry version 3 and Yugi the Yanma. Let's have a quick look at the moves. Tackles, foresight, quick attack and double team. Not too bad. Much more helpful than Togepi. Timmy the Togepi. You'll be forever remembered in the PC. And that is pretty much going to wrap up today's Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, I absolutely love this game. It is so, so good and kind of bides the time between now and the release of Sun and Moon, which is very, very soon. But guys, if you want to see some more of this, or you enjoyed the video, or both, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. You are the best. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! And they've added a new route and some Halloween stuff, which is pretty cool because it's October. But um, we've got a... Oh my goodness, that is a powerful Litleo. How many Pokemons he's got? He's got three. Okay, we're definitely going to need to sip on that Swordsburg coffee, please, Steve, okay? And then you can take this guy out as quickly as possible. Oh my goodness, overheat is such a powerful move. It did like... It did 11... No, 20... I don't even know. 21 damage. That's pretty good for a move that's not super effective. I should have bought some items. I should have bought some items because if I get burnt, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> yes! Yes! And with a critical hit, did he not die? Oh my goodness, I thought he would have died. I really thought he would have died. Now, I'm going to use a bubble just in case he uses some kind of medicine. Nope, he didn't. Okay, I don't know if the gym leaders do that. They do do that in the game, but in the in the real Pokemon games. But I don't know if they're going to. Right, Growlithe is up next. I'm going to switch, actually. I'm going to switch into... I'm going to switch into Glenda and give her a little bit of a run to see if we can just chip down the HP a little bit more so that Steve can come in with his bubbles and blow them away. Intimidate. Ooh, that's nasty. Right, let's go for, um, let's put a big old lick on this Growlithe's face. And yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> That was pretty good. Not gonna lie, Growlithe. That was pretty good. Um, wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, let's go for a... Let's go for a... I don't know which one's better. Quick attack or tackle. Let's go quick attack so we definitely get some damage in before Growlithe attacks us. That's not too bad. Overheat. Avoided. Perfect. So it looks like overheat is the theme of this guy. And he might... That usually means when they use a move over and over again, the gym leaders. That usually means that they give you it in a TM afterwards. So... Let's see how good Quince can hold out here. He's doing overheat, which is doing... Whoa! 
a lot of damage with a critical hit. My goodness, that was that was insane. That, that was pretty insane. We're doing pretty good with our quick attacks, though. Keep it going. Keep it going, Quince. Come on, Quince. No, he died. Okay, who can I use to finish this Growlithe off? I don't know who the last Pokemon is going to be. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Elvis, actually, because he has quick attack. So you might be able to survive an attack, Elvis. Just um, put your brave face on. Do you remember the brave face? Do you remember? I'm going to use quick attack because it means that I can attack first. Come on. Yes! That was so powerful, Elvis! Where did that come from, dude? Where did that come from? Right, Magma. I am definitely not going to switch right now. I'm going to get Elvis to do some damage to Magma. It's level 25. That is pretty intense. Right, um, let's use Quick Attack. And if we survive um, its attack, we're going to use some Sand Attacks too. That was awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, Elvis died. <laughs> Elvis died nicely. And you know what? We're actually in big trouble here because Steve is three levels lower and probably not that quick. Oh, no. Faint Attack. Whoa, that did too much damage. Come on. Come on, Steve. Steve in with a critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. This could be good. That could be an actual clutch critical hit. Come on. Come on, survive it. Survive it. No! Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Barry! Do this for me, Barry, please. I am... Um, I'm in big trouble. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's use... Let's use cut. You're not gonna survive, are you? Flame burst. No. You're dead. Barry is dead. Do you know who it's down to? <laughs> Down to Timmy. I can't believe I'm going to lose. I thought I was so prepared for this. You are going to use... He could use Yawn, but I don't think he's going to survive one. Let's use Metronome. Come on. Come on, he's using Overheat. He's going to cook the egg. And he's dead. No, this magma's too good. Oh, what's happened? Oh, no, 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 no. I had to pay him 300 poker dollars as well. Scurried to a Pokemon Center. Oh, no. I feel so bad. Okay, sir. I definitely need to purchase some of your medicines, please. Let's buy... Um, What do we have? Super potions. I'm going to buy... How many? Oh, my goodness. They're really, really expensive. Let's buy... Let's buy five. I think five could be okay. Let's buy five of those for now. And then we've still got 6,000 left. You know what? Let's see how five go. And and then I, th I think five will be fine. Right. Rematch. Hello? Who are you? Dan, let's battle. Plus, no, you look scary. I'm out of here. What's wrong with your octopus arms? I'm out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. Oh, I can clear two at once. Look at that. He's even running up. He doesn't even need to use his hands. This guy's, uh, this guy's crazy. Okay. Uh, Whoops. I kind of died. All right. Quick little save game, and I would like a rematch, please, buddy. I don't want to hear your voice. I just want to hear you crying after I beat you. Let's do this, Sebastian. <laughs> no, that is mean. What is going on? <laughs> I am so glad I just saved it. That could have been awful. My goodness, it like crashed just after I saved it. Is that going to be okay? Guys, we're all good. Let's do this. Oh, my goodness. You just did so much damage to me, Lilio. That's really, really mean. Please don't use another one of those. 